Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for September 3rd and 4th. This is for all signs. We're going to see whatever comes up. This is the vice versa deck, so there's stuff on both sides. So you guys see me shuffling. I, I got a comment last time I used it. You're looking at those cards first. You're choosing them. I see you choosing them. <laughs> Just because you're a deceptive individual doesn't mean I am. When you say things like that, it really, you know, it proves who, th that's coming out of you, okay? So, this is for all signs. I don't do these readings deceptively in any way. I, what, what would I have to gain from it? Nothing. So, oh, look at this. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. We're going to clarify these cards at the end. Calling in your soulmate. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Beautiful. September 3rd, 4th. What can we get for today? Somebody wants to go back. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords right off the bat. You know, this is a... Uh, you may feel like you've been robbed. You may feel like you've been cheated. Maybe you have been. Maybe you have been robbed. Maybe you have been cheated. Lied to, deceived. There's a sneaky individual in the mix, whether that's you or the person that you're dealing with. You know, it's like, goodness gracious, he's, he's, he may think that he's not getting caught, but I think he is. I think they see him. I think they're about to, uh do something about it. You see, there's there's two people over here, and it looks like, I'm not sure if this one looks like he's pointing over there. He's saying, hey, look. Hey, look, I see. That's what it almost looks like to me. I'm not sure. Well, his arm is down, but there's, I don't know what the hell that is right up there. But I feel like somebody's going to get caught. Somebody's going to get caught. That's what I feel like with this card. Somebody's going to get caught. Mm. The Nine of Wands, it's like... You have the missing piece. You want to come in? Are you here to save me? <laughs> oh, goodness. Are you here to save me? What are you looking for? What do you want? What do you want? You know, maybe, maybe somebody is wanting to go back. <clears throat> And give back what they took. And she's like, what do you want? What the hell do you want? just letting them fall out that's what's happening here somebody's headed in and you see there there he is he's coming in somebody's coming in you know and he there he is with the wand now he's off his horse he's coming with an offer so it looks like somebody is coming with an offer but you see she is very comfortable she's she's barefoot she's at ease she's wants an explanation. What the hell? Yeah, I hope you're ready to explain what the hell's going on here. 
you're not you're not gonna get past me because I have a you know my pride is in here my pride is inside this cave which could be a pride of lions it could be bears <laughs> lions tigers and bears I don't know but uh, I'm not sure if I can let you in I'm not sure if I can let you into my home because I'm not sure that I trust you so can you please explain? Can you please explain what the hell is going on here? You've lied to me in the past. So I feel like somebody may be coming with something. Somebody's coming in. But it's a white horse, you see. So perhaps they're being honest. They're coming in to, you know, something. Let's find out. And she's wearing white, too. So she's... She's been she's been pretty honest with her you know her situation. I feel like whoever is is on the guard, whoever's guarding their sanctuary is 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 pure. Okay. Now we have the Queen of Wands, and this would be the reversed Queen of Wands. She's like. I don't know. I don't know if, you know, I can give you the time. It looks like her back is turned, you know, her back is turned on this situation. She may not want to see the truth. She may not want to face this situation. I might not want to face it. I might not want to face you. Um, I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot, and I've grown. I've grown some. Uh... Well, you see, there's roots growing all around her throne. It's like you know what, the, and this is like protection as far as I'm concerned, you know. And not only that, it's like I've I've I've, I've just about withered away as well, you know, waiting, waiting for this to happen. That's what I feel with this card. It's like you know. The walls, the walls are, are deep, you know what I mean? I've put up my wall against this situation, against you. I don't have any trust in this situation, I'm not sure. You know, this is unsure, that's how I feel. It's like I'm unsure if I, if you're acting nobly. If you can break through this, if you can break through this, this wall that's around here, then perhaps, but you're, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to, you're going to have to work really, really hard to get through to me. Get to me to hear you even. Oh, you know, I pictured this card. I pictured this card coming out. It's like whoever you're dealing with, whoever is coming in is ready to face the storm. They are. They're ready. So I feel as though somebody has been cheated. Okay, they've been cheated. They've been lied to. They've been deceived. And now this person is probably coming in to do some explaining. They're going to have to do some explaining. And this person is prepared. I think whoever you're dealing with is prepared for the storm. You know, they're ready to fight for what they want. They're ready to face it. They're ready to face the, 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 the storm that is about to happen. You know, and if this is somebody brand new coming into your life, because it could be, it could be, you could have your walls up so much that you may not see that it is a soulmate, okay? So just keep that in mind. Whoever this person is that's coming into your life has the means to face adversity, has the means to um, break through this wall. They do. They intend to break through your wall. They tend to cut down the roots that you have put up around your throne, your cave. You know, they, they intend to, you know, restore your confidence. Okay. Ooh, the Ten of Swords. You know, you... It's the end of deception. It is. It's the end of, of something that really, really hurt bad. 
It's like that, that time is over. It's a completion of that cycle of deceit. Like, his, look, he's looking, he's looking this direction. It's like he's, he wants to go back to, to something. Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands. Now, seven, seven, seven. Yikes. So, a seven, seven, seven. So, this is a divinely guided. You know, we know, and I, I, seven is a very prominent number in my life. So it's really freaking me out here. Um, somebody wants to fight for what they, this is fighting for what you want. That's what this is, seven of wands. It's like, you know what? I'm going to go after what I want. I am the winner. I, I want what I want. I'm on top. Somebody is about to defend what they think is theirs. Go against the crowd. Go against whoever is in the way. You know, I, 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 this is mine and I'm going for it. I feel like somebody has, has made the decision. They've been enlightened. Somebody has been enlightened about what really matters. Interesting. I don't know who this is for. It looks like somebody's coming in to save the day. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I'm coming in to save this situation. And they might not think they're saving the situation, but to the other person, that's what it is. Um, but. Oh, goodness gracious. The Nine of Cups. I, saw, I had this card last night. Um, wish fulfillment. It's like the, an angel is, has heard the call. It's like an angel has heard the call. You know, like she, she's going to talk into that. An angel has heard the call and they're, they're bringing you what you've been wishing for. After you have built up this huge, you know, barrier. You know, you've built up this barrier, but you've still been wishing and dreaming. And now... Who somebody is here to face the the storm with you. It's like, yeah, I'm coming to help you out with this situation. I'm gonna come help you. I'm I'm coming to save you. <laughs> I don't know where save you coming from, but interesting. Ooh, now we have the star card reversed. I mean, this is the reverse, but it, I mean, it's just the the back side of this card. You know, it's like some, and, they, and this is this is like uh, somebody is coming. It's like a dream come true. It's a wish come true. Somebody is coming. They are entering the the scene. Okay, you look at her big ass. She's a big ass. I just have to point that out because I noticed I had this card too. I had both. I did a reading for myself last night. I had both these cards. So, and I happened to notice her big ass last night too. That's funny. Anyway, somebody is coming in to, to, to mingle, to mix, to fulfill your... It's like there's been a lot of rain. There's been a lot of crying. There's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of healing. And it feels as though... I feel as though somebody is, is being... There's a wish being granted here. There's a wish being granted that... Is somebody has been wishing for somebody to to come in their soulmate? They've been wishing for their soulmate to come in and and help them, you know, to to help them fight this fight, you know, this this the daily the daily grind or whatever you want to talk about. But there's I think there's been a previous ending here, but somebody has been enlightened and now they're coming back to explain and you know f go through the storm. You know, they're ready to face the storm. So. I don't know who this is for, but whoever the woman is in this situation, this woman ha is, has grown old, grown weary, okay? She's grown weary. She's put up some serious boundaries around her, her throne, around herself, around her heart. She's gotten to the point where, you know, she's, she's made these wishes, but she doesn't feel like 
very confident that it will ever happen. She's probably gotten to the point where, you know, I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going to get this soulmate, even though my deepest desire is for this to happen. Um, but I feel like today is a day of perhaps receiving, you know, somebody coming in and wanting to break that barrier, you know, cross that line. You know, somebody is is willing to fight the battle with you after you've been cheated. So this is pretty interesting. So be prepared. Be prepared. I think somebody has made a decision. Okay, I do. I feel like somebody has has made the decision to fight for what they what they want. I feel like this is a dream come true. It's a wish come true. Somebody is entering and it's a gift from above. I do. I feel like it is a gift from above that somebody is entering your life to help you. Um, but you, you're going to have to let that guard down and maybe, you know, break some of those. You know, what is it in the Snow White movie when the, the prince comes and he has to go through the thicket? I mean, that's what I see. I feel like there's a, there's a huge, uh, pile of shit or thicket or whatever that is blocking the way and it's going to have to be cut down it is it's going to have to be cut down to get through to this person because they've been cheated they've been hurt and this man uh, there is a man coming in or a masculine okay so we have a feminine and a masculine there is a masculine that is ready to fight they're ready to go after what they want you know you are what i want i'm ready to fight for this and it is a dream come true for somebody now I don't know who this is for like I said this will not resonate with every single person <laughs> we're gonna get some clarifiers here calling in your soulmate somebody has this woman has been calling in her soulmate and he has arrived he has arrived so the soulmate for this woman not everybody is coming. Yep. Oh. It feels like now the time is now. Somebody has been patiently waiting for this. There's this woman is guarded, like I said. That she's very guarded. She's um closed off emotionally. You know, she's just like really scared to let anybody into her haven. Um, she has, she definitely has her guard up. She probably does have a, you know, a pack of wolves in there or something. And it feels as though, you know, there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of, of uh, nobility. Somebody hasn't done the right thing. And there's denial in both of these cards. So... Somebody has been denying their feelings for another person for quite some time and probably investing in themselves, probably investing in their own internal growth, waiting for that right time to make a move. And I feel like, you know, another seven, seven is divinely guided. Seven is a number from heaven. So uh, seven is very prominent here. So I don't know how seven resonates with you, but what we have four sevens now. So seven is a very prominent number for the situation um the soulmate is going to have it's going to take some time and patience and effort to break the wall that has been put up it's, it's the truth okay But I feel like somebody is headed in and they are coming to help. I mean, they're coming to help. They, they're they ready to face the opposition. This is opposition. And this is, this is a man who is ready to face the storm. So he's ready. He's ready to fight. I'm ready. I, got, I, I, I know what I need to do. I'm going to do it. I've made the decision. And I see that a decision has been made here. But the other person has blocked. Now, you have, may have blocked your soulmate, just saying, um, from coming in. You may want to deny that this person is your soulmate because they've defeated you and lied to you and stabbed you in the past. I mean, that's certainly the case. 
could be the case. I kicked that, so I don't know if we're still on track. Um, but there's been a there's been some sort of um, a lot of hurt here. A lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of hurt. So I feel like hmm, somebody there's an opportunity for victory and success if somebody can move forward and only invest in the future and not be blinded by the past, you know. There's an opportunity for victory and success here. Somebody is 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 coming in. Somebody is coming in. So I'm not sure if it's somebody new or somebody old, but let's clarify this one. I don't know why I grabbed this deck, but who knows. There's a lack of faith. <laughs> this, there is. I mean, here we have Cancer. Here we have Taurus. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius quite a bit. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius here. Um, this is a lack of faith. I don't believe. I don't believe you. But somebody is offering love. You've known this person before. Now somebody is offering it, offering it, and you know you have an opportunity to accept it or throw it away. You may not, you may not even see the opportunity because your back is so guard. You know, you're turned to it. You're so guarded. I feel as though there's an opportunity for a rebirth, a renewal. I mean, there is. This is the birth of something new. It is. This is the Taurus, and this is all you may be dealing with the Taurus. I don't know. Or Libra. But this is this is abundance. This is beauty. This is worth. This is growth. This is creativity. This is extreme beauty in all ways. Somebody sees your beauty. They see your worth. And there's an opportunity for growth here. For the birth of something new, if somebody could find the faith to let somebody in. But I think there's been some cheating. I do, because I keep seeing this Three of Cups and we have the Seven of Swords. There's been some cheating. There's been some deception. There's been some lies. And somebody is reluctant to... Um, see the see the possibilities in this situation but I, there is a man that is strong enough to face the storm so for some of you there is a man that is coming in to the rescue because you're worth it you're worth it I don't know who this is for. I really don't. Wow. But there's a lack of trust here with that hair font reversed. This, you may not, the woman, the woman in this situation, the feminine, the feminine, whether you know you're in a gay relationship or not, the feminine person, the feminine aspect of this relationship, is it going to trust because of the deception, the lies? Trust is earned. Trust is earned. It's not that she will never trust again. Okay, she can trust again if you can break down the walls. If you are truly this man and you are truly strong enough and you put in the effort to break down that wall, she will trust again. So somebody could be coming in out of the blue to fight for you. You know, this could be somebody new, could be somebody old. But I see that your block, your guard is up. Your guard is absolutely up. If you are in a coupled relationship, it feels as though there could be, there's an opportunity for... You know, if you're in a coupled relationship, there could be deception and somebody wants to go in another direction, okay? Because there's some deception, there's some hurt, there's an ending, you know? 
and maybe this your your person is in love with somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. I think this reading is generally the message that I'm getting up is for people that are single and waiting. That's who I think this message is for. Because if you were in a coupled relationship, why would you be calling in your soulmate, right? There's a past life connection here that can't be broken. And with these sevens, I see that. And with the, with the star card and the nine of cups, it's like, this is your wish. It's something you've been wishing for. So you know who this person is. That's what I think. I mean, it could be somebody new, but I don't think so. I think this is somebody that you know. I'm just being honest here. Fellow travelers, somebody like you coming in to save me. You know how I started this out. It's like somebody's coming in. They've been watching. They've been waiting for the right time. And it feels like the time is now. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Somebody sees your beauty. Somebody, whether it's somebody new or somebody old. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. Be open to support and help from others. It's funny. It's so funny. I started this out with, you're, you're coming to help? You're coming to save me? That's funny. Be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. But she's been doing it alone, and she's gotten to the point where she's a little closed off. Okay? And here's the help coming in. So it makes complete sense. Sometimes that support comes from someone you least ex expect. That's what it says. So it must be, maybe it's somebody that you don't expect. If someone offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you are so very loved. And I said it with this card too. Somebody's coming in to help. I knew that. I did. Know that you are so very loved in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there is support all around you. Blessings from above are showering over your life. <laughs> That's what this is. Son of a gun. It is. It truly is. <sighs> Blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real. And their presence is near. They're only a thought away. They're messengers from their creator and they come with immense blessings and love. All is well. Fellow travelers are guiding and supporting you and they love you deeply and profoundly. Be still and open your heart to their messages and healing. They will come to you in soft breezes, rainbows and feathers that seem to magically appear. Sometimes they will come in from a stranger with a message. And, you know, maybe there's a stranger that's coming in. It could be a stranger. It could be somebody you know. It could be a stranger. And it ends up being your soulmate. Oh, my goodness. But it could be somebody you know as well. She's oh, a girl. Sometimes they will come in in the form of a stranger with a message. These signs let you know that you're going in the right direction and that all is unfolding exactly as it should. Messengers from their creator come with immense blessings and love. Be open to receive love from others. You. You. Are a healing love force for others. This is absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm speechless. I start to feel sick to my stomach just now. Some, some, somebody is coming to help. That's my message for today. Talk to you later.